In a key TAM action, a private individual or entity, known as a relator, brings suit on behalf of the United States government to recover fraudulently obtained money. If successful, the relator may be rewarded with all or part of the damages received. In Rocco v. Commissioner, the United States Tax Court considered whether a relator's award was taxable income. Emmanuel Rocco was a former accountant for the New York University Medical Center. After being fired from his position, Rocco brought a KETAM action against the medical center, alleging that the medical center fraudulently overcharged the government for costs associated with federally sponsored research grants and government insurance reimbursements. In 1997, to settle the action, the medical center repaid the government $15.5 million. As a reward for his successful KETAM action, the government gave Rocco approximately $1.6 million. In an attempt to determine the tax treatment of the KETAM payment, Rocco and his wife, a state income tax auditor, researched the tax code, related regulations, publications, and tax treatises. Rocco's wife concluded that the reward probably wasn't taxable. Rocco also requested a private letter ruling from the IRS. An IRS agent advised Rocco that the IRS would probably find that the key TAM payment was taxable. Rocco withdrew his request for the letter ruling. On his 1997 income tax return, Rocco didn't list the key TAM payment as income. The Commissioner of Internal Revenue assessed a deficiency and an accuracy-related penalty. Rocco filed a petition challenging the commissioner's determination. Rocco argued that the key TAM payment wasn't taxable income because the reward wasn't gain derived from capital or labor and, as a matter of policy, shouldn't be taxable income because it could discourage private persons from acting as relators. Rocco also asserted that he shouldn't be liable for the accuracy-related penalty because he made a good faith and reasonable effort to determine the taxation of the key TAM payment. The United States Tax Court considered the case.